what we have before us today is a major cut in safety. Um, the TTC doesn't only provide a way to get from point A to point B, um, it provides a safe alternative to walking. So I'm only going to deal with that. There's so much more we can deal with today. We're very limited. We're very constrained because it's late and because of time. Um, it's worth saying that my community of Downsview, as well as in, in all Toronto, we've seen crime drop. So I don't want to use the crime factor to sensationalize this, but I have to make you see uh, visually what it's like and what you're going to be seeing was, was filmed last night. And uh, I want to use the example of a mother who is finishing her, uh, her midnight shift who would, after today's cuts, have to walk home about a kilometre from Jane and Wilson uh, through the streets of, of Downsview. Venice Bedard is her name and she's a member of my community. She expressed this. She's now going to feel very vulnerable and unsafe because we decided to cut three hours of service on the Calvington bus. I'm, when she needs it the most, I'm pleading with you not to cut those three hours. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to continue talking, okay? Jeez. Um, the video clip will show you what, what it's like at, at night and try to keep Try to keep uh, in mind that we're not in this nice, warm, fuzzy room where we feel safe um, and, and know everyone that's in the room with us. Just think of what it's like for this woman walking alone at night. And uh, for those of you who are interested, I, the full walk is available on my Twitter and, and you, YouTube and the website for those who want to see it. Um, I'm featuring, of course, the roots in my ward because I know them the best. And, but, and, and they represent, I think, collect, collectively the concerns that are being created and that were mouthed tonight from so many people who were concerned about the safety of, of women and, and girls, many of whom will have to walk the more than 600 meters or more on a nightly basis. The 101 downs you where the roller derby girls come in, it's worth featuring as well because it's uh, very isolated. By the way, Downsview Park is not a city park. We're not responsible for it, but we are facing cuts for the darkest months of the year if we do what we're going to do to those women here tonight and to those girls. The cutting of the 101 route creates not only a safety concern but an economic one as well. And uh, you'll see the clip here of what it's like um, in, that, in that particular service. Again, the longer walk is available on, on uh, Twitter and YouTube. And I, I want to... Those are the kind of sports that are, that are available there. And uh, you saw how young the girls are who, who uh, attend the, the roller derby. I want to finish up by, and keep, keep this rolling, Rob. I want to finish up by saying that uh, it's up to staff to come up with the math and, and the results to meet our policy, but it's up to us, we, you know, we commissioners, to bring the public interest into the equation. I think we have a responsibility to do so and, and express how these cuts affect real people. I, I just wouldn't rest if I didn't bring this to your attention today. I, I don't know what price you put on, on women's safety and on girls' safety. I think that whatever whatever price it is it's certainly not enough so i think that we have to decide as a whole um, to use our discretion and use our conscience and you're going to be destroying these businesses and you're making these women and girls feel unsafe so i move to retain the proposed the proposed root cuts not only in my community i'm not going to cherry pick them but i want to just remove the the words in the revision two, which have been, which are be, have between 10 and 15 boardings per bus service hour, so that it would be to read services whose customers would have to walk further than 600 meters to an alternative alternative service. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.